Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV. I'm at IBC 2019 over at the Black Magic stand talking to Darren about the new ATEM Mini. So, tell me about the ATEM Mini. So, the ATEM Mini is our latest in our range of ATEM live production switches. It's our new entry level live production switcher aimed for uh, people coming into kind of online content creation, YouTubers, um, vloggers, people who perhaps want to use games consoles and switch it with a live camera, consumer cameras, maybe even presentations that are being fed from a laptop but need to have a camera as well. So, in terms of the, the technical specifics, we've got four HDMI inputs each with uh, conversion built into that as well, so you can bring in different uh, video sources in different resolutions, different frame rates, and it will scale them all to your master production format. So that resolution's up to 1080p? That's correct, yeah, up to 1080p 60. Um, what we have is a single HDMI output, which at this point in time we're using to feed our program output to a display. But this can also be configured to send any of the sources, so one through four. You can choose which one of those you want to send to the output display. Now, what that means is you can, for example, if you're using a games console and you want minimal latency and the person who's playing the game, perhaps with a picture in picture, they want a clean feed of that game feed going out to the display, they can feed that out from the HDMI output, still play on the, on the game that they're playing on, but then the video feed is being output separately by the USB-C port to the computer for streaming. So you don't have any of that um, annoying latency that yeah. causes problems when people are trying to live game and stream Imagine that's intensity. impossible. Absolutely, yeah. That's one of the biggest complaints you get from people who want to live stream but still want to feed a monitor at the same time. Um, so you've got your four HDMI inputs, that single HDMI output, as I mentioned. And then in addition to that, we have a USB-C um, output as well. Now, the USB-C output has two purposes. The first one is to connect to the ATEM software control, which means if we want to, we can drive the ATEM from software. But the second one is it's feeding our live video output via USB-C into the computer, which can then be used for streaming. So what we've got in here is effectively a USB webcam chip built into the unit, like we had in our previous generation um, web presenter. Um, so what we have is a live switcher and web presenter style device in a single unit. So in some ways it is a web presenter just with much more switching capability. Absolutely. So as you can see here we've got um, full control over the ATEM switcher so we can choose between our different sources directly from the front. We have some um, mix uh, duration settings, we have wipe settings, we can turn on um, individual uh, picture in pictures onto the unit as well. All of that's available from the, the control surface but then we expand that out to the software via USB-C um, to give us more control over things like audio preferences, hyperdeck control, uh, bringing our media into the unit and at the same time we're using that USB-C output to feed applications like OBS or Skype for, for live streaming or live conferencing applications from there. Do you get much control over audio? Um, there's no audio control directly from the panel here, but to get into that we dive into the software. Um, there's two microphone inputs on the unit, so you have access to those two microphone inputs, plus you still have access to all of the embedded audio that's coming through the HDMI inputs. So and then want... through the software you can say, I keep the audio from that embedded input on HDMI 2. And... Absolutely, so as with all of the other ATEM live production switches, you can turn the channels, the embedded channels on, you can set them to audio follows video, so that when you switch to that yep. source, that comes in, or you can just choose your microphone inputs, for example, you have full control over that. And that's Fairlight Audio Control as well, so the advanced Fairlight Audio Engine that we've introduced in some of our newer ATEM switches, we've also put into this ATEM as well. So where, did, where does this now sit in the range? What does this do that wasn't capable of being done before? This is effectively our, our newest entry-level switcher. So I mean, it's tiny. The size must be the big thing, right? Absolutely, yeah. So it's obviously it's, it's, you can mount it on a desktop to begin yeah. with, and you've got all your video connections coming in. This is kind of the, the smallest setup you could have. If you take the laptop away, you've just got a switcher here, connect it straight to a monitor or an output, and you've got that there. What we were finding was we obviously have our other ATEM television studio switches, which are fantastic entry-level switches for, say, people moving into broadcast for the first time. But people who want to work in live streaming, uh, maybe conferencing and events, a lot of the time they're not using SDI-based cameras or decks. They're using HDMI uh, laptops or camcorders and maybe consumer equipment. And this is designed specifically for those users. We've got four HDMI inputs. Again, because of the, the conversion built in, we can connect a variety of different sources 
don't have to worry about matching the format and frame rate because the ATEM takes care of that for us and then we just plug them all in and start switching straight away. This is as close to a, a plug and play switching device as you're going to get to. Absolutely. So do we know when it's going to be available? Um, availability wise, uh, this will be in November, I believe, end of October, early November. So we're not too far away from that, that now. Uh, and it's priced at 289 uh, euros, so similar price point in pounds as well. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Cool. Thanks very much, Carl.